social media marketing can be challenging, daunting, and intimidating in today's world. It, there are so many things, so many factors, so many platforms, and so many challenges that come into play. But in today's video, I'm going to share with you some helpful tips that will give you a strategy to find some success with social media marketing in 2019. So let's get started. I am best-selling author Jamie Brumfield and this is Social Media Marketing Secrets and this channel is all about demystifying the challenges and platforms of social media marketing as well as helping you discover strategies that can help you find more success with your social media marketing. So if those things interest you then you're in the right place be sure to subscribe and click that bell to get notifications when new videos become available. Today we're going to talk about some really great strategies and really give you a, a complete strategy to get started with social media marketing. So if you haven't ever started on any other platform, you haven't really delved into social media marketing, you're going to find this video extremely helpful. I'm going to provide with you some success tips that I've used over the years to create social media marketing success in different lines of business that I've done throughout my years working from home as a work from home mom and a stay at home mom and wife. So number one is to, first of all, you really need to start with research. Research is going to be imperative. You don't want to start the, start the wrong platform or start on a platform that's not going to have the greatest impact for your business, you definitely want to know what platforms are out there for social media marketing. You want to research all of the platforms, at least the major platforms, and determine which platform is going to be most successful. Number one is to make sure you research the platforms and determine in an order, I would basically list out the top five or six platforms in numerical order as to which one is going to be most successful for your business, your product or services that you're going to be offering. Number two, you need to know your ideal customer. You have to, have to, have to know your ideal customer. If you don't understand your ideal customer or your niche, then you're basically in the middle of the ocean floating without a life preserver, or you might have a life preserver but you have no um, direction or insight as to which direction to go where to go how to target the your customers and to really drill down lots of people like to focus on the big numbers thinking that the big numbers are going to help them find success when in actuality it's more about quantity or quality not quantity when it comes to social media marketing number three do competitive research Look at your competition and really understand your competition. Then look at your product, your business, what you're offering, and find a way how your brand is different from your competition. You're going to find differences in your competition. And those are the things that you're going to want to focus in on and really lean into to address with your ideal customer base what makes you different, why they should choose you over your competition. This is important. You're going to want to do this. And what we're doing is we're laying the groundwork. All right. Number four, once you've done the research, you know your ideal customer, you, you know how you're different from your competition, and you've researched all of the different platforms, you've listed them one through six as far as the top platforms that are going to be helpful for your business, then pick the number one platform create an account, create a profile, and start getting the information out there. Then you want to create a content uh, calendar. So what you're doing is you're creating a content calendar on how you're going to and what you're going to do produce on your channel. You want to make sure you know the frequency that you're going to be producing this information. You want to make sure you know the benefits that whatever channel that you have decided to start your social media marketing on, that you let your potential customers, your ideal customers know the benefit that they will get to subscribing to your channel. This is super important. You want to really differentiate yourself and your brand and your product and service. 
Number five, while you're creating your content calendar, you really want to delve into what kind of content you're going to produce. What kind of content you want to produce? Do you want to produce videos? Do you want to produce talking head videos, which is what I'm doing here. I'm talking to you in a video. Do you want to produce videos that are going to be slideshow presentations? Do you want to produce sales videos? Do you want to produce educational videos? Are you producing posts or are you doing micro blogging or blogging? Um, so you really want to determine what it is that you're going to produce as far as content. Number six, as you're creating your content calendar, really focus in on the 75-25 rule. Okay, so basically what I do is I like to post at least three non-promotional posts that are just helpful posts on my social media channels that are going to educate or help my audience in some way without asking them for anything in return. And then the third or the fourth post, I might post something that has a call to action, whether it be to join my newsletter or to check out my training or to check out my books, right? So you want to really focus in on offering a lot more, giving more than taking because social media is about engagement and creating a relationship with your customers. It's not about the old the old marketing idea of, you know, placing ads in magazines or newspapers, that kind of thing, or doing the commercials, what you'll notice is that social media marketing is more about the people and less about the product. It's more about helping people, creating relationships and engaging that relationship, and then offering your product. You need to create that know, like, and trust value with your potential customers. And that is when you're going to create raving fans that want to support you, not only by buying your product, but promoting it out. One of those fans is better than a hundred fans that don't engage whatsoever, right? So it's about quality of your contacts, your customers, not necessarily quantity. And you're going to find that that's very, very, um, that's the way social media marketing and influencers are actually looking at things now. Brands are looking at things to hire influencers. So we'll get into that in other videos, but really focus in on, you know, creating that relationship with your potential client. And honestly, that is tip number seven, engagement, engage your clients post something and then when people comment on those posts make sure that you respond back and don't just respond back oh i agree respond back with really helpful information and ask your customers your uh, your audience to answer questions open-ended questions that might give you some insight into what they're looking for what they're needing right because they're spending their valuable time watching your information or reading your content or getting interested in what your brand and your product is so reciprocate that and create a real solid relationship with your customers. Social media is about being social, getting socially connected. So keep that idea of engagement and make sure that you nurture that engagement aspect. Number eight is about finding the right customers. I talk about quality of your customers over quantity, right? So the thing is, is you want to find the right customers and you want to do that by going to different social media channels, finding customers within your niche that are asking questions that you can answer, provide them answers and create a relationship. Don't ask them for, you know, to purchase something right away, create a relationship by giving them something and then hopefully they reciprocate back. That is going to be a hundred times better of a, uh, an audience member than somebody who's like I've mentioned before, not engaged, not interested really in your content. They, you know, if you do, if you have somebody who's just followed you for, you know, maybe a giveaway, right? And they're not really engaged in what you're offering. You want somebody who's really engaged in what you're offering. You want somebody who loves your product or your service or your business or your brand so that they become raving fans and raving fans will get more like-minded individuals to your brand. And so it's a, it's a snowball effect. 
So your mission, should you choose to accept it in this video, is to figure out which number one platform that you're going to create a profile on and start content, creating content, create a 30 day plan to create that content. And if you need more help, you can actually get download a PDF in the video description section of this video um, that will help you with planning that content for 30 days. So you're basically creating a 30 day plan and there is a link um, subscribe to my newsletter, become a VIP newsletter subscriber, and you will be able to access that PDF planner that will help you with a 30 day plan in creating your first social media account and getting up and going. And then the process is simple. Rinse and repeat with number two on your list. So once you've gotten a 30 day plan and you've initiated and you've done it and you feel that you've built a good foundation on that first social media platform, rinse and repeat on the second social media platform and just slowly build your empire. This may take one month before you feel comfortable. It may take six months. Choose when you are ready to move on to that second one. It, it, it's totally up to you on the time and energy that you've spent to build this business. All right, so our next video on this channel is gonna be talking about how social media marketing isn't necessarily about the product anymore, it's about the people. And you'll find that this is going to be a wonderful topic and a wonderful discussion. So be sure to subscribe and click that bell to get notifications when that video gets uploaded. I try to post to this channel at least once a week and talking about things that are going to help you demystify the challenges and the platforms of social media, as well as discovering helpful strategies that will help you find success within the social media marketing world. So demystify it. And it is very easy to demystify it, just basically by keeping it simple, superstars. All right, so this is your Best-selling author, Jamie Brumfield, signing off. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be sure to comment below, like the video, comment, share, and when you comment below, I always come back and check the video, so I will definitely engage with you in the conversation. Let me know how this is going for you, and let me know if you have any questions or if there is a specific social media platform that you're interested in hearing more about. So thanks so much for tuning in. Again, best-selling author Jamie Brumfield with Social Media Marketing Secrets. Thanks so much for tuning in. You have a fantastic day.